Hey there, darlings. This is Broadzilla again with a uh, another speed paint. This one uh, a little bit more personal than the uh, the fan art that I did before. Uh, this one uh, doesn't really involve any particular characters or franchises, but uh, I really enjoy mermaids. Um, and so does my mom, actually. She has a whole bathroom uh, decorated with them. And I always really like going over there and seeing all the new, like, artwork that she, uh, that she's got in it. She's actually got some of my artwork, as well as my sister's artwork, in there as well. Like, among all of the other professionals. It's very flattering. But, uh, this one... Well, my therapist mentioned, um, you know, maybe doing some more, I guess you'd call it vent art. Art to just kind of get emotions out there, you know, really dig into them and express them. And, you know, I, I, I deal with uh, anxiety and, uh, and depression. It's uh, one of the reasons I see her. Um, I think more people ought to talk about it. Uh, there's such a stigma uh, with it. Uh, but no, there's there's nothing wrong with, with getting help when you need it. Um, it's I've only been going a, a little while, but uh, it's benefited me tremendously. But anyway, doing um, artwork that really captures like my negative feelings sometimes can really uh, really help. It's a good way to express it rather than like hurting myself or something like that, you know? So for right now, you can see I'm laying down the, uh, the sketch layer. I always try to do the sketch layer in a different color. And uh, that way it really stands out against the line work, which you can see I've just started here. That way I know if like there's something I didn't really like in the sketch, I want to change, I can. Uh, I also can see much more easily what I have and haven't lined. I think that's the most important thing. I had a lot of fun with her hair. And stuff under stuff underwater is so much fun because you could just you don't really have to pay much attention to gravity. Not if you don't want to. I always have a hard time when I'm drawing mermaids, um, figuring out how do I want to attach the tail. Like, do I just do a like a fade up? like I did this time, where it's just the scales slowly turn to skin? Do you put, like, a really hard transition, kind of like Little Mermaid, where she's got that fringe around her hips? There's all kinds of creative ways that you can, you can approach that. I think that's just as important as, like, the tail fin or anything else on there. But I was feeling kind of lazy, so I just went with the fade. Besides, I wanted to kind of do the the coloring for the fade, too. So I wasn't, you know, completely lazy about it. I don't think I've ever really mentioned this, you know, publicly in any way. But I am terrified of jellyfish. I think they're super cool to look at. I love watching them if I go to like an aquarium or something. But, oh my goodness, I've always been afraid of jellyfish. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure why or where that comes from. I remember from... When I was younger, I don't know, maybe 10, 11, 
I was swimming um, on a beach, or, you know, in the ocean next to the beach. And um, I swam out pretty far because I'm a pretty strong swimmer. And suddenly I feel this gentle brush up against my leg. And I thought it might have been kelp. And then almost immediately uh, my legs started to burn and my brain just put two and two together. And I was like, oh no, it's a jellyfish. Oh no. And I don't think I've ever swum that fast in my entire life. And you see what I did earlier was I colored everything blue, even though clearly everything is not going to be blue. I did that so that I could alpha lock the layer, um, meaning that everything that you've already colored, um, every pixel that already has color to it, um, that's all you can do, which means you can't color outside the lines, um, which makes blocking in color like this really easy. I don't have to worry about um, like scribbling outside of the lines. So for especially stuff like the hair and the tentacles made it a lot easier. Add a little bit of gradient for some interest in the hair. Wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do with the lighting here yet, but I figured that would at least add some uh, little depth to it later. And you can see I didn't really care for my first color job on the tail. I thought it was a little too bright. So I toned it down a little. And here's attempt number one for color on the jellyfish. This was another one I didn't really know what color I wanted. So you'll see in a little bit that I changed my mind. This was just my first pass at it. That's the nice thing about digital um, artwork. It's super easy to change your mind and just color over it without damaging the paper or anything underneath. A lot of fun with those little tendrils, the jellyfish's tentacles. I don't normally draw like really wispy things like that, but uh, it, it turned out better than I was afraid it was gonna. Yeah, just recoloring that, and you'll, you'll see the final colors for the jellyfish coming up here. I decided I wanted to make him the jellyfish uh, a lot more subdued kind of I wouldn't really say ugly colors because I don't really think that there are any ugly colors but definitely darker and um more less well rather less cheerful than um less cheerful than the mermaid because uh you know this piece was supposed to be about uh mental illness specifically like uh dep depression the urge to just give in to it. Oh, I did kind of a new thing for the uh, shading in this one. Uh, you actually used the same color for both the shadows and the highlights. I just put them on different um, uh, on different layers and put them in different like modes. Uh, for example, I think the shadows in, are in multiply, and the light, I believe, I put into either luminosity or, or soft light. One of the two. I can't remember which. But if you're interested in, um, in lighting, uh, really play around with your, your blending modes. 
on your layers. Sometimes you'll you'll run across something that you you had no idea of before and it really works out. And you won't know until you look at it and play around with it. There's no problem with experimenting. There's always an undo button if you need it. Anyway, the reason I made them the same color was I thought that it uh, really kind of helped unify the whole thing. Added a certain element of realism to it. Now you can see I'm just kind of cleaning up where I went out of my lines. Because I got to do my shading and stuff uh, on a uh, different layer than the color. Just to have a little bit more control over it. I kind of like the messy shading. I think it looks a little bit more like paint. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's like one of my uh, favorite Greg Universe quotes. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. And uh, honestly, I don't know about you, but I love hot dogs. So you can see that that same color looks really different on that uh, light mode, but I decided to just like trust it anyway, even though it just kind of looks really weird. And uh, honestly, I kind of like how it ended up once my eyes got used to it, that lime green light. We're getting close to the speed up here. There we go. Now you'll be able to see everything all at once, including a lot of the touch-ups I did to the background that didn't come through in the original uh, recording. I like including this mode too, just because uh, you can see everything without all of the zooming in and out. I wish I could do it this fast in real life. I want to thank you guys again for uh, tuning in and watching me draw. I have so much fun doing these, and I really like making them for you guys. So I really appreciate it when, uh, when you guys enjoy them too. And that's it. Thanks again, and... Uh, I'll see you next time.